Waterford will be going into this game with a high level of confidence. But as will Tip, um, I think both teams have come through very tight games. Tip overcoming Galway by a point and, and Waterford overcoming, overcoming Cork after extra time in a replay. And from those games, I think, comes great confidence, you know, more so than it does if you win a game you know, by a, by a big margin. So I think both teams will be coming into this thing brimming with confidence and uh, I think both teams expecting to come away with a win. So, you know, makes for makes for hopefully a good game. After the tip game, we were very, very disappointed. You'd be half depressed for a few days, but, I mean, you have to get on with it. And, you know, some of the guys, I think, went back, uh, you know, playing with the club, back club training. So that helps as well. Sometimes it's better get back into it than, you know, feeling sorry for yourself for too long. So, uh, no, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be thinking, you know, too much... It would be nice to be there, obviously. It would be nice to continue on and to get over to Tipperary in the quarter-final, but that's life, as I say, and you have to move on, you know? It's been an up-and-down season, in fairness. Early season form, poor, very disappointing performance in Cork. Got back on track very well against, uh, very well against Wexford and Offaly, and uh, our best performance of the season by far against Galway, where they showed an awful lot of character to win a game that looked to be lost. So I think from the team's point of view... They'll have a lot of confidence since that Galway game in, in terms of the way they actually won the game. You know, We'll have to eliminate some of the errors against that we had against Galway and maybe just be a bit more fluid up front as well. Going out every game, I think players know exactly what they have to do and any player coming in knows exactly how they need to slot in and it's worked very well for them. And I think David Fitzgerald deserves great credit for the way he's prepared the team this year. I think he's, got a, he, he's developed a sense of team spirit and a sense of unity of purpose that no matter who you are, where you're playing, you play as part of the team and, and, and you play as part of the system and it's worked. You know, Tipperary have maybe technically a better hurlers than Waterford, but you know, I still feel that they're you know not fully settled around the half forward line midfield area. And I think that might be still a bit of a problem this late in the year at semi final stage. The key battles will be uh, whether Brick Welsh can dominate the game to the extent he's been dominating games so far uh, from a tip point of view that's important that he doesn't do that and then up front uh, Milan and Owen Kelly Dan Shannon coming off the bench all these guys are big game players and if tip are going to get through they're going to have to keep these fellas quiet It is a flip of a kind I don't see there been a big swing either way but uh, I'm going to I'm going to stick with Waterford. I'm going for a tip victory. If we play it to form and improve on the form we've shown so far, I think we, we should have enough to get through. But uh, it's a very dangerous game and a, a, it will be a very exciting game, I think. I have a sneaky feeling if it's very, very tight that I think Waterford could possibly pull through in the end. Just from looking at Waterford for the last couple of seasons, to seem to be able to grind out victories you know, with five or six minutes to go when a lot of people wouldn't wouldn't back them, you know. Um, so for that reason, if, if it's a tight finish, and I think if Waterford, you know, if there's two or three points in it with maybe five or six minutes to go, I, I think Waterford might pull through.